Today, I'll show you a new and incredibly useful feature in iSpring Learn. Now it's possible to create long reads. These are long articles divided into chapters, which in addition to the text contain multimedia and questions for self-check. You can assign long reads to learners and track their progress. Let's get started. Once I'm signed into my account, I'll head straight to the courses page and create a long read. I'll come up with a good name and briefly explain what the article is about. Now let's add a cover because it's going to be the first thing that attracts your user's attention. Now you can go to preferences to adjust the contrast and the overlay color. Make sure that the title is clearly visible on the background of the cover. This looks good to me. I prepared this article ahead of time to make creating this long read even easier. Now I can transfer the plan to iSpring Learn. It's better to create the article plan in advance, but if you don't have a finished article, just write it directly in the editor. All drafts will be automatically saved in one place. But since I have my plan in place, I can copy and paste my article as well, and then I'll add pictures and video. You can insert pictures from your computer or links to any video on the internet. You can also use the embed code, for example with useful YouTube videos or other resources. Now I can adjust the image and video of any text so it looks great and does exactly what it's supposed to do. At the end of the chapter, you can add questions so your users can self-check their learning. To do this, create an exercise. Now insert the questions, image, and answer options. At the bottom, you can add a feedback message that the user sees after answering each question. This block of questions will appear at the end of the chapter. And finally, we can check the settings for the long read itself. Everything is very simple. You can choose accent colors as well as fonts. I really like the default settings, so I'll just leave them. In the navigation, you can select restricted, which means your viewers have to view your chapters in order or free. Now my users can view any chapter in any order they like. You can also turn on chapter numbering and add a button to quickly jump to the next chapter. Now let's check how this long read looks on different devices by selecting preview and switching between them. Make sure to pay extra attention to the devices that most of your students use. My users mostly view my courses on their phones. Check the operation of the links, the ease of navigation, the design, this way you'll catch if there's anything that doesn't quite work and go back and edit it. I don't need to edit anything. My long read's ready and I will publish it. By the way, unpublished long reads are not deleted, but they're included in the list of drafts which can be viewed here. If you have unpublished changes, remember that users won't see them. Now you can enroll users into this long read and you're ready to go. Catch you for the next video.